Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I just spent the weekend installing this Curtis Advantage cab on my John Deere 2038R tractor. I'm really thrilled with the way the install came out. Um, I think it's going to be a great upgrade for me, and the best thing about it that I think will be interesting to a lot of you out there watching is the price point of this cab. Now, Curtis has always made a premium cab, and a while back they came out with this Advantage cab, and now they're introducing a base cab and a plus cab, so that they've got an option for every price range. Before that, you kind of had a premium cab, which might be six or eight thousand dollars and really stretches what you might call affordable and then you had your cheaper vinyl or canvas cabs and I think this really hits a sweet spot as being something that you can install yourself and is affordable but also has a lot of the premium features that you'll see on the more expensive cabs so let's take a look now I'm gonna have future videos showing you the base cab and the plus cab. I've got a deal with Curtis Industries that lets me show the, the different door options and all the different features for all three models so that viewers can decide which one fits them best. What we're showing today is the Curtis Advantage cab. It's the next step down from the Curtis Premium cab, but it's a little bit higher priced than the plus cab and the base cab. So the Advantage cab has a steel door with a glass window. Um, all of these cabs I'm talking about have a glass front windshield and panels right here so that you can see your front tires. They all have a front windshield wiper. These are optional features right here in these bar lights up here and the rear view mirrors. As we work our way around the cab, You'll see this work light right here. This is the fender mounted work light that comes standard on the 2038R. Now when I bought mine, I got a second set of LED work lights that were mounted up here on this bar. And so I left those there. And so I've got these, one facing forward at the front wheel, one facing forward and to the side. This equipment back here is stuff I've shown previously. This is my Artillion toolbar. I've got the chainsaw holder and the large toolbox on it. Then up here are the ROPS mounted work lights that I showed previously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this off of here so that you can see the back glass. So this bar here comes off too, but we probably don't have to take that off for you to be able to see everything you need to see here. The Advantage cab has the glass rear window and this windshield wiper for the rear is optional. It's standard on the front, it's an option on the rear. This window lifts off quite easily to make the cab backhoe compatible because for anything to be backhoe compatible, your backhoe seat touches your other seat. So you've got to be able to get all the way back. So you need a re removable rear glass and a soft back here. And that's what we've got on this setup. When you come around here, you'll see the same locking metal door. Got the rear view mirror again. And pretty much everything over here is the same as we saw on the other side. All right, I think we'll open both doors so we can get a better look on the inside. Now I'll put the key in so we can see how the accessories work. By turning that to the on position, we can see right here is our windshield wiper. Got a switch there on and off. Here we have the heater. That's high and low for the heater. So this heater is heated off of the engine coolant that circulates through here and heats it up. There's a ball valve that you install in the radiator line that by shutting off that ball valve you turn off the heat circulation and this becomes a fan. 
Here you can see the wiring from our original fender mounted work lights running up to the new location. When we look up at the ceiling of the cab, it's padded and insulated. Then we have a breaker box and switch panel and a dome light up here. These are optional features. But if you turn the key on, it will light up all of these controls. There's your front lights. There's your dome light, rear wiper, and your rear lights. If you want to, you can run your front wiper and your heater up here as well. But I chose, because these are easy to access spots, I chose to leave those where they were. You've also got the option to open the front glass to vent. Now we'll step inside from the driver's side. Shut the door. All right, now if we turn the key on. You might have noticed that I didn't mention an air conditioner. The first things you worry about when you think about putting a cab on your tractor is does it have a heater? Does it have an air conditioner? Because obviously we all want to be comfortable. And this cab, sitting in it and using it a little bit over the course of the weekend, reminded me of the Jeep we used to have. It had an air conditioner on it, but I don't believe we ever turned that air conditioner on. In the summer, we just took the doors off we took the top off and I didn't really miss an air conditioner in it. I liked riding like that. And this is set up kind of the same way. Let me show you how easy it is to take the doors off. I had not removed any hardware before starting. That's all there is to it. Let me put it back on real quick. And that's it. So you take the doors off, you take the back glass out, you vent the front open, and then you close the ball valve on the heater so that now your heater's a fan. If you want another fan, you've already got a power box up there, you can hook up another fan. Artillion has a fan, or you could just pick up a cheap clip-on fan, and you're shaded. So now you should be cooler than you would be on an open station tractor. So I don't even consider air conditioning to be that big of a factor on a cab for a tractor this size. It, they're a major power draw so much that they drain your battery and bog down your alternator or make you need a bigger alternator. And you actually can lose horsepower just by running that air conditioner. So I think just opening it up is a great solution. And then if you're working and you notice some raindrops on your windshield, it's that easy to drive to your equipment shed, grab those doors, stick them on, and you're good to go. I'm getting ready to talk about pricing on the cabs, but first, just for fun, I'm gonna turn all these lights on and do another walk around. As a matter of fact, since we're inside, I'll just turn off all the lights in the shop. It should be pitch black in here, but I've got this set of lights pointing down at the front tire. 
Then I've got this set of lights illuminating to the side. Then we've got these lights straight ahead. And then your headlights are here. So I'd say we're getting pretty good light. Now all of those lights are wired to the key switch. So you're not going to forget and leave them on and run down your battery. Now, I told you one of the big features for this was going to be price. So your premium cabs are in the six dollars to $8,000 range, where you're talking about a third or a fourth of the price of the tractor just for the cab. You also had some very inexpensive um, canvas and vinyl cabs, but I've not seen anything in between that price range that was something that a homeowner could put on. So conventionally, if you want a cab on your tractor, not only did you have to buy that expensive cab, but you had to pay the dealership to put it on. And this cab install was rated for 10 hours at $100 an hour, you're talking about a $1,000 install. Whereas I was able to do this myself. So out of the three newer style Curtis cabs with this shape that's more squared off, whereas the premium cabs have more of a curved front glass, but in this line, this is the most expensive, and it comes in at $3,400. Now, anytime I say a price on a video, I like to put the caveat in there that prices change over time and you can't come three years later and expect it to guaranteed be at the same price. But today, this is a $3,400 cab. So the next model of cab comes in just under $3,000 and it has a metal frame door with vinyl stretched that goes all the way down to the floorboard. So you actually get more visibility and it makes it lighter and you're saving over $400. So that's your mid-tier cab. And then if you're really budget conscious, but you want something with a solid metal frame like this cab has, and you still wanna have this glass front window with the wiper, and you still wanna have a heater, and you still want the option to add a dome light or any of these other features, then you can get the Curtis Base Cab and install it yourself, and that cab is $2,300. Now, tell me, have you seen another option for $2,300 for a do-it-yourself cab that is this nice? The only things different about that cheaper base cab is the door and the rear glass. So I already have the vinyl doors for the base cab, but I didn't want to try to show everything in one video. I thought it might get a little bit confusing, but I will have a future video on that. You also have the option to start with the base cab and then later upgrade to the solid doors or to the plus cab doors. Just like with all of these other features, you can start at the base cab and get into at that price and then add whatever features you want later on. So, I'm pretty excited for my new cab. I'm excited that in some future videos, I'm gonna show you the other door options and do comparisons so you can decide which one of these is best for you. And my next video is a full install video. I'm expecting this video to be fairly long, but I show you from the very beginning all the way through the wiring what it takes to install one of these cabs. And hopefully that helps in your decision making if you're interested in it but it also will show you the components and how everything's made. I'm telling you that Artillion did not skip a detail in designing these. They've thought of every little thing and I'm really impressed with it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.